Ibrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. In this video, we continue about doing uh, example 8.5 from the Shigli Mechanical Engineering Design book. Okay, all the contents is taken from the book itself and the pictures is taken from Google Images. So, example 8.5 uh, tells you about is uh, figure 8.21. Here is figure 8.21. Okay. Uh, shows a connection using cap screws. The joint is subjected to a flat twisting force whose maximum value is 5 KIP per screw. The required data cap are cap screw uh, 5, oh, 5 over 8 inches uh, level UNC, SAE5, hard, harder steel washer. Okay, the TW is the thickness of the width. Width thickness is 1 per 16 inch steel cover plate T1. Okay. PL is uh, 5.8 inch uh, E. Yang address of, uh, of the screw is 30 megapascal and the cast iron base is uh, T2. The width is 5 over 8 inch and ECI is 16 uh, MPSI. So find KB, KM and C. KB is the stiffness of the both. KM is the system of the member and uh, C is the fraction of the uh, external load. Okay, using the assumption given in the caption of, in figure 8.21 here. Find all factors of safety and explain what they mean. Okay, so this is the question. So let's move on to the solution A. Find KB, KM and C using the assumption given in caption 8.21. Okay, for the symbols in figure 8.15 and 8.21, H equals to Ti plus Tw, so equals to 0 0.6875, okay, L equals to L plus D per 2, equals to 1 inch, and D2 is 1.5 inch, equals to 0 0.9375 inch. The joint is composed of three plaster, the upper two plaster are steel and the lower one is cast iron, okay, uh, you can read all the statement. The tips in doing this is you trace back what uh, the value, okay, what the value happen if you find 0 0.5, you trace back where, where uh, does this 0 0.5 uh, get, then D equals to 9.375 inch, you trace back where does this belong to, okay, uh, and, and when you are uh, putting all the value in the equation, you get the joint constant is C. Okay, C equals to KB uh, uh, over KM and you get 0 0.28. See, this is the, C is the joint uh, constant. Okay. So, solution B, find all factor of safety and explain what they mean. Okay, this is the uh, FI, is the initial force. It's a, it's it's the clamping force given when you clamp, when you properly clamp the the bomb, okay, and then you get uh, forty point four KIP. Remember, this KIP is used in USA. You need from uh, USA goes to around um, one KIP equals around one thousand pound, okay, one thousand pound. So in Malaysia, we do not use pound. But uh, if you are working, dealing with customer from US, customer from UK, they may use the unit KIP. So proportion is around uh, around 4,600, something like that, 4,600 Newton. The value is more or less like this. You can Google the value, the exact value. Okay, so no problem. Uh, now we have all the tools required. Uh, doesn't matter you work in you are dealing with a uh, USA customer, you are dealing with a British customer, or you are dealing with another uh, uh, customer who is using metric system. Okay. From the table, table 8 9, uh, the strength of the load is 85 kp SI from SA grade 5, and using equation 8 to 5, the load factor, okay, load factor is NT equals to this. So remember what is a load factor? Load factor is uh, uh, basically, 
the look that uh, you want to give if you uh, by calculation you get this value and by logic is uh, you if the load given is you want to put heavy load on that uh, on that part okay uh, you put more load factor okay if uh, your chair for example your table for example you design the table you want to put extra load on it then you should put uh, in the calculation you put the more higher load factor okay uh, because it will uh, represent the material of the boat the and the diameter of the boat itself okay let's move on to the solution b uh, continue on solution b find all factors of safety and explain what they mean this is a traditional factor of safety which compares to maximum boat stress of uh, flow strength so the answer is this is the uh, factor of safety sp equals to 80 you can trace back okay you will get you should trace back where do you get 85 where do you get 0 0.0266 uh 48.4 you trace back from this video or from the textbook itself and then you get uh you will know what is the meaning of 85 0.22 and everything the, this factor is indication of overload on on p that can be applied without exceeding the proof strength remember um from the what is meaning by this statement uh, i always like to explain because uh on mathematics uh, you can get any value but you may not understand what do you get okay this uh, i'll try my best to explain uh, uh from the catalog that you get from the factory you it is given the proof strength of the box itself meaning that it, what strength that it can endure okay uh, as long as it doesn't it does not uh the load given as long as it does not overseed or beyond the capability of the bulk itself okay beyond the capability uh, beyond the strength of the bulk from the factory for catalog it should be safe it should be safe okay so uh and then the solution b also find all factors of safety and explain what they mean next using equation 830 uh from n not fi equals to p one minus c so you get four this is a factor of safety for four uh if not mistaken this considering one factor uh one factor is not there okay um you can check what uh, is uh, not mistaken is a static factor okay static factor uh, uh that factor is not that is neglected uh and then you get and not okay if the force p is gets too large the joint will separate and joint will take uh the entire load the factor guts against the event okay force p is the external load okay external load meaning that for example your chair okay for example your table suddenly you somebody put extra load okay somebody put extra weight on the table which you already know the table cannot withstand it okay and then um, this force p gets too large this joint will separate okay meaning that some of the joint we separate let's say you put your this is join you join okay okay and then or maybe your design is like this okay doesn't matter and then you put extra load on it extra load on it maybe the join will we separate okay maybe the joint will separate this is what we want to avoid okay this is the factor that gets the again the event so remaining factors we put to eight um uh figure eight two two this again contains the modified good line 
equipment line, gerber line, and proof strength line, and the load line, intersection, intersection of load line L, we respective failure or point CD define that set of strength on that intersection. Okay. Uh, point P re, point B represent the state stress. Okay. And point H is preload strength. Therefore, the load line begins at A and make an angle having a unit slope. The angle is 45 degrees but only when both stress is have the same scale. Okay. This is the good line line. Okay. Meaning that uh, basically the result behind this line or the result you get behind this line your your design should be safe if you get the result beyond this line like this okay it uh your design is uh, have to modify uh, maybe you have to use better material maybe you have to use better uh, larger diameter for the design okay uh, okay this is uh, the good man line okay and then the factor of safety explain what they mean okay the factor of safety by found by dividing the distance ac ad ae by the distance ab note that this they say by dividing sa for each theory the quantities in crucial indicator caption a to two is defined as follow point a and this and point b okay and then this is the value that you get okay this is the value that you get uh the point c is the good modified good mind uh from table 817 okay you get this value trace back to un to understand this question you trace back the value where do you get the value if you have to refer to the graph you refer to the graph if you have to refer to the table you refer to the table okay this is what how you learn this is how you learn uh, to get the value uh, okay and then we continue again about the solution b point d and you get point e point f and everything all referring to the graph in the previous two slides okay uh, okay point d is the proof strength line well sm equals to plus sa equals to sp the addition of horizontal protection is like this and then you get uh, the result uh 10.64 kpsi so the factor of safety around uh, this is 3.43 which is all of course identical to the previous obtained by equation 8 to 9 so this is the factor of safety uh, for the for your design okay a similar analysis of factor diagram could could have been done using yield strength instead of uh, proof strength Though the two strengths are somewhat related, pro strength is much better and more positive indicator uh, of a fully load board that then it is yield strength. Also, it is worth remembering that pro strength uh, value are specified in design code. Yield strengths are not okay. We found that uh, the NF load factor is two one two four is the basis of fitting and modified goodman line and uh, NP. 40 is the basis of uh, pro strength you you find out this value from the previous slide where do you get this value okay uh, and also 3.43 where, where do you get this value you find out okay that's the danger of failure is by basic not by overproof loading so these two factors should always be compared to determine where the danger greatest danger lies okay let me explain the slide okay again i tell you uh when you are doing the mathematics the calculation you can get any value but the understanding what you get is also important it's, it's more important you understand what value that you get uh, okay so uh, it says that you strength and also full strength okay Remember from the material science that you learn in your first year in material science about stress strain diagram. This is the your stress strain diagram. Okay, stress over strain. This is the line. Okay, this is the elastic, meaning that 
everything that you learn uh everything that you learn up to this point is all about elastic meaning that the material does not fail okay and then this is the yield point yield point meaning that in in simple words that material can function okay your material can function okay your screw can function but its property is not the same as new one okay meaning that it it, it has already stretched okay it has already elongated then it cannot come back to its original, original position its strength is there but uh, it's not the same value as the original strength okay okay this is for the point for this strength so that is what people are doing for uh, the indicator is for uh, proof of strength no real strength okay and point e you can see in that uh, in that figure uh, this is the Gerber criteria. The safety factor is uh, NP equals to this equation. Okay, from equation 846. Okay, then you get, uh, you put all the value and then you get 3.65, which is greater than 3.40. And contrary to your conclusion earlier that the danger of failure is static. Figure uh, 822 clearly shows conflict where point D lies be, uh, between point C and E. Again, the conservative nature of Goodman criterion explained that the discrepancy and designer must form his or, uh, or her own conclusion. What, what the conclusion that you want to get? Because you get four four value, okay? From Gerber, from Goodman, from SME Elliptic, you get four value, and all those given the criteria of safety. Uh, so, what do you want to choose? Okay. Okay, you choose where uh, the place that you will put less load, okay, the place that is not that critical, you choose the good man because the value is uh, low, two point something, okay, and then the critical area, you put, uh, you put 3.65, it is from uh, good man, uh, from global criteria, meaning that, let's say, or, or, discussion okay let's let give an example for the sake of discussion okay this is your table this table is connected by box there is a box that attach to this table okay this this is also have box okay by your design you will say that you put small load at the left side this point you put load okay this point you you put heavy load okay small load light light load and heavy load okay this point you purposely put the Goodman, the screw that you obtain from Goodman line. Goodman line equation, two point something, two point six something, if not mistaken. This box that you purposely want to put heavy load, you put the box that you get from the uh, Gerber or something that the value is 3 point something 3.4 something okay this is the for the sake of discussion not uh, not practically uh, because it's not practical it's no no logic you want to find the uh, different kind of screw but I just want to give an idea to you what does it mean by uh, by this value you get failure factor of safety okay the place that you purposely want to put the lighter load, you put from the Gerber equation 2.6 and then you find the material, the screw, uh, no 
not so expensive screw not so big diameter for the screw and this point you why purposely want to put the heavy load okay you put the higher material higher strength material screw you put the more larger diameter screw and this because the factor of safety is that and then this factor of safety will translate to to the size of bolt to the strength of bolt to the grade of the bolt itself okay so that's all for the video uh, on the example 85 okay we'll see you in the next video on 812 bolted and repeated joints loaded in here okay thank you very much